Hello everyone, this is user1. Are you sick and tired of logic and reason? Well, I have good news for you because LSRP admins have unanimously decided that DM rules do not need any clarification after I was admin jailed for literally defending someone's life. That's right, someone being murdered in the street? You wanna save them? Don't. Doesn't matter if you are where you are for a reason and can justify everything you did. You possibly had a mentality and other people can abuse this excuse to DM. You know how it is. If it looks bad, we'll assume it's bad. Guilty until proven innocent. We'd rather have a hundred innocent people get admin jailed than one guilty person go free. Roleplay isn't about freedom or choice. It should be a linear path of stereotypical characters that if we dare make them in any way different from the norm, we'll just label them more rats. Oh, we just can't have a girl character defeating man characters because we all know girls are weak. Oh, we can't have a person carrying a gun without a license saving a life of a stranger because she's a criminal and criminals don't do that. Everyone knows stereotypes are the most accurate form of creating compelling character stories. Admins have repeatedly explained to me that if the DM rule was to be clarified even a little more than the current you need a sufficient reason to kill, which is really you need to look like you had a sufficient reason to kill from the start to the admin that's taking your report. Then people will find loopholes to exploit and DM people. With that being said, here's how you can currently exploit loopholes to kill whoever you want and get away with it. Option number one, become a cop. Cops can save lives of strangers because it's their job. You see, a job motivation makes so much more sense than a personal value motive of life is priceless. We all know civilians, let alone criminals, don't care even a tiny bit about strangers' lives. It's only when you wear a badge you suddenly care. And it's only because of the low wage money you're being paid on the job. Option number two, wait until something's stolen from you. Funny thing, while you can't save lives of strangers being stabbed on the street by killing the stabber, you can totally kill someone for say stealing your car or breaking into your house. No problem there. We all know materialistic goods cost so much more than strangers' lives. Option number three, just do something illegal. Because no one is educated about self-defense with firearms, and majority of people don't carry guns to defend themselves, if you do anything illegal, the only real option anyone has against you is to report you to the police. Funny thing, you'd think it'd be case-by-case -case basis like they constantly say it is, but no, the unwritten rules are pretty set on this topic. If you had ever snitched on someone, does not matter how mild the crime was, they can find you three months later and murder you in plain sight in public with tons of witnesses and CCTV cameras. And admins won't have a problem with that. But God forbid some stranger tries to save you from being murdered, we can't have that. People could exploit that as an excuse to DM. And there you have it. You want to avoid getting banned for the M, but want to kill people on LSRP? Just follow these unwritten rules. You want to be able to just play the fucking game and not be DM'd every fucking day? Want to be able to use a gun to defend your own life as well as lives of strangers around you because that is fucking legal? Tough luck. Because our server is based in UK where handguns are banned. And even the police end up having to risk their lives and to do knife-wielding maniacs with tasers, which have about a 50% chance of failing. And they don't recognize such ridiculous premise of carrying guns for the purpose of defense of life. If you want to defend a life with a gun, you must be a lunatic. Hard to believe that a person who conceal carries a gun in real life is six times less likely to be charged with a crime than a cop. It's unimaginable that upwards of 3 million lives are saved annually in the United States with defensive use of firearms by civilians. No, we can't have that. That would just make too much sense. Do you see how ridiculous this whole situation is to me? All I'm trying to do is avoid getting admin jailed and follow the damn rules to the best of my ability. I've been trying to apply to join LSPD for the past 5 months now. And aside from being denied for petty reasons, I have to deal with this nonsense? You realize if you want to reduce number of shootouts or crimes happening in public, you should support defensive shootings, as they reduce such things from happening. Do you realize that if you want to murder someone, maybe don't do it in public, on a street, where an armed citizen or a cop might see you? 
Do you realize I can't stop mid-stabbing to type something out without letting the stabber finish the victim off? Here's an alignment chart used in Dungeons & Dragons role-playing game to define character's alignment. I would describe Michelle, the character who allegedly couldn't possibly be capable of saving a stranger's life, as a neutral good. Don't worry, I do have characters with evil alignments too, obviously, but here's the definition of a good alignment from easydemos.com. Good characters and creatures protect innocent life. That's an alignment. If you don't allow people to protect strangers from being killed, then you're restricting which alignment people can choose for their characters. As of now, my appeal was denied twice for the admin jail, and I am extremely disappointed. I submitted another appeal to the management. I'm hoping this video will clarify my point of view, and hopefully you will see why I find this issue so substantial. Why go up? People go to jail for defending lives. I honestly find that sickening. There's absolutely nothing wrong when there are no other options available to use violence in defense of life. Saying things like, you could possibly have a DM mentality, it's just a vague way to shut me off and ignore the issue. It's an easy way to move on and to put a buzzword on something without actually it meaning anything. And I'm yet to see an admin justify how shooting to save a person's life is considered an insufficient reason to kill, but shooting to kill someone who stole your car is perfectly acceptable. I hope you realize that the purpose of this video isn't to rile people up or to teach them how to get away with DM, it's to prove a point. The point is that there will always be DMers and trolls no matter how strict the admins get. And we shouldn't let them hurt people actually trying to roll, because then we give them exactly what they wanted all along. Opportunity to ruin our experience, to take away our freedom of roleplay and to separate us. I want you to consider the ramifications of acting ignorant to one of the most crucial parts of your server, its rules, and more importantly, the way they have been enforced. I want LSRP to improve and to become a better roleplay server. For that to happen, we have to be honest with ourselves and open to change. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome.